Hi, I'm Honda Pro Jason. I'm here at the SAE World Congress event at Cobo Center in Detroit, Michigan. And behind me is everything Honda. Honda's a co-host for this year's event, and I'm gonna show you guys everything they brought, from Osimo to the new walking device, to even the NSX and the Honda Jet. So follow me and let's have some fun. This year's SAE event is co-hosted by Honda and they brought a display that is gonna blow you away. I'm gonna walk you guys around the whole thing, but first, and the first thing you see is the brand new NSX that's right behind me. Bright red, check this thing out. We've seen this at a couple other shows and it never fails to impress. And now we're in the main area where everyone has all their huge displays and Honda, I think, has the biggest display yet. Check this thing out. They brought in vehicles like the Pioneer, which I've never seen a Pioneer, only in pictures. So this thing's super cool looking. It's really neat. It's really a, a cool, obviously, it's an off-road ter off terrain type vehicle. Come on. We have some marine engines right over here. So they, they brought a little bit of everything. So unlike a regular car show or motorcycle show where you'll just have well, cars or motorcycles, here they're going to show all their technologies. Han is well known for their marine technology, well known for their hydrogen technology. So they brought out the fuel cell vehicle and the fuel stacks. This is the old fuel stack. This is the new fuel stack. The engine. Come around, actually, come around the other side. You probably get a much better view here. There we go. Shows exactly how the motor is set up in the new fuel cell. Here's the fuel sacks. And these actually harness the, high, uh, harness the electricity to be used by the vehicle. And the vehicle itself is right over here. It's rare because normally the fuel cell vehicle is up on some sort of area where you can't get around it. There's a fence around it and you can't really get close to it. Here you can actually get right up to the car, which is awesome. And Honda is expected to have this car out within the next year or two. So this is going to be really, really neat to see something like this on the street. Helping out, of course, Honda, blue skies for our children, and this is one of the ways we're gonna get there. And if you come right over here, we have an Acura TLX. So what would an Acura TLX be doing in a show like this? I mean, you can just go to a dealership and see an Acura TLX. So what makes this one different? Well, it's cut in half. That's what makes it different. Check this thing out. So here you can see all the body structure. You can see Honda's next generation ACE body structure. See the foam they use inside, so it's really unique to get this kind of perspective of this vehicle. Check this thing out. Here is the engine that's going to power the new Honda Jet. That's pretty awesome. Let's go check, I think they have a motorcycle we can go check out, come over here real quick. What in the world? NM4. This thing is totally insane looking. It looks like a touring, kind of crotch rocket type. I've never seen anything like this. This definitely looks like it's production a production bike. I've just never seen it. Look at these, how these mirrors are totally just built right into the bike. That's so cool looking. This is really cool. And then behind me, Honda's playing a video that replays pretty much all day, but it's like a three or four hour video. And it talks about all the technologies that Honda has and everything they're showing here at the show. So in addition to this, 
plus the downstairs where we have the Osimo and the Honda Jet and the NSX and the motorcycle. Honda's also doing classes that are being taught by everybody. I mean, everyone from people in R&D to people from came in from Japan. And these classes are starting the first day at nine o'clock, going all three days, almost on the hour. Some of them are two hours. So we're gonna take a look at some of the classes and see what cool stuff we can learn and bring to you a little bit later. Now I'm in front of Honda's display. In about 15 minutes, they're gonna have a huge demonstration here at the SAA World Congress. And what they're gonna be demonstrating, we're gonna to have to find out, but I'm guessing by the looks of the soccer ball, the stairs, it's most likely gonna be an Osmo display, which I'm very excited for. So let's wait and tune in and find out. I trust it, I'm just always so scared. Please trust it. Please trust it. <laughs> and I just the That's, okay. That's amazing. And, and to stop, you just literally stop and it just sits. It's amazing. It's truly incredible. And now for the inside of the Honda Jet. As you guys can see, I'm sitting in one of the jump seats. So the jump seat is an option. It's normally a two, four, six passenger, and this would be the option to it. Now this is a single pilot aircraft, which is extremely important, which means it can actually be flown just with one person. You don't need a co-pilot. Come on inside, let me show you some of the cool things we found. Inside the Honda Jet, you're really gonna see the same fit and finish as, as, as a vehicle is. I mean, it's, it's amazing to see the stitching and to see all the, the workmanship and the differences they have inside this, this jet, I keep calling it a vehicle, inside this jet, look at these seats. For comfort, you simply lift this handle and then the seat pivots and you can lock it in any position you stop in. How awesome is that? And these little touches, look at this down here where it says Honda Jet in bright blue. It looks awesome. and you don't see any screws, you don't see any bolts. It's very much like a car. This here opens up. You have a cocktail table, and if you really want, you have a full table. And look at the wood, it's just, it's beautifully done. Yeah, yeah. Everything's nice and smooth here. The, uh, and if you shut this, take, take a look, the, sit in the other seat for a moment, just take a look at the side here. Look how nice and finished this is. This gives a nice finished look. You can also use this to lift and put this right back where it belongs. Of course, there's cup holders in every Honda fashion. It has to be awesome cup holders. Beautiful lighting all over the place. These lights here, they're these tiny little touch buttons. You barely have to touch them and the light goes right on and off like this. Just like just a gently touch and they turn on and off. Also unique is pretty much everything we've done and seen can be used through an iPad. Now, if you don't want to use the iPad, there's also optional controls inside each of these door panels here. Look at this. And these controls will change whatever you like. So you can accent lights. 
There's night mode. Entry mode. Also through here, instead of putting shades on the windows like most planes have, there's actually an option where you can use the control and it automatically dims the windows for you. How awesome is that? Like, no shades that go up down, it's just a dimmer. So cool. One more thing I want to show you guys, and that's the laboratory. Some, sometimes it's overlooked, but check this out. You have a full sink. Very, very cool. Something you're not going to see is up here. They actually built in skylights. There's one and one on this side. Now step back, let me shut to the door. I have a little bit of business to attend to. I've ever seen, I, I wouldn't call it a vehicle, I guess I'd call it a plane, but look at this, ready? So the armrest lifts up, you can go right down, and if you drop it down, just like a Honda, watch what happens, it's dampened. Even the armrests are dampened. How, I mean this is just, this is unbelievable, and the fit and finish and the stitching, it's, it's really outstanding. And I haven't had a chance to fly one of these yet, but I've been told that it's really quiet. And one of the reasons it's so quiet and there's not a lot of vibrations is because of where Honda put the engines. Instead of putting the engines where they normally put them, and they attach them to the fuselage, and then they have to brace it all the way around and then those vibrations come right through the fuselage. Honda attached them to the top of the wing. What that is, is that allowed the vibrations to go out the wing and not vibrate the inside of the cabin. Also keeping the cabin very, very quiet. In addition, as I'm gonna show you, there's plenty of room for luggage, and I'm talking a lot of luggage. So let's take one more stop, stop and let's see what the cockpit looks like. Now for the cockpit. Just like Honda, you'd imagine there's gonna be plenty of hidden spaces, and there's storage. And there's storage, and there's storage. I mean, there's storage pretty much anywhere you can possibly look, but let's take a look at the inside. As for the cockpit, again, everything, the fit and finish is truly amazing. These seats are extremely comfortable. All the screens are Garmin. And just look at the quality of the buttons. And listen, they all have a beautiful sound. And these are touch screen. So down here you can touch whatever you'd like to touch and you can get to where you need to go. You need some weather. There's a weather screen. These are all live, so I can play around with these a little bit. How about that? That's pretty awesome. A couple start buttons there for the engines. And just the controls, everything just has a beautiful, solid feel. I mean, it's really a beautifully engineered and built vehicle, just like you'd expect from Honda. I hope you guys have enjoyed my tour of the new Honda Jet. If you guys have an extra $4.5 million laying around, why don't you guys pick one up and give me a call and pick me up. As always, I'm the Honda Pro, and now you're in the know.